So, we prefer video. Can we still use podcasts? Of course. Podcasts and video work really well together. So you can think of different content channels, different media as being like a web. So you always want to give people who enter one of your channels the option of consuming via another channel. So these are typically video, audio and written word. Um, the advantage of thinking about audio is that Really, a lot of big brands completely ignore audio and podcasting, um, whereas the stats show that people are actively looking for content in that channel. So there's a there's an undersupply of uh, content that you can be part of satisfying. You know, you even as a smaller brand, you can kind of punch above your weight in that particular channel. And even if you're a larger brand, um, you can really kind of take over. You can really own the channel because you know none of your other kind of big competitors are, are really kind of doing that so um, you're probably already doing video you probably already got a video strategy but this is your reminder to keep doing video but don't forget about audio and podcasts which again work really really well together